Hey Governor, how did you how did you do and how'd you learn? What did you learn? Well I, I think it's not a surprise. Everybody knows we have a challenge in managing the public lands and the herds and have them uh, coexist. And the farmers and ranchers have got their own needs out there on the pasture lands and range land. And the wild horses and girls are approaching and growing and way beyond whatever was imagined. So what do you do? And certainly birth control is something that's going to be at the top of the list as far as managing the herd size. And so we we'll need to make sure that the range land can accommodate the pressures. It's not just the farmers and ranchers, but you know our elk and our deer, our moose, our bighorn sheep. All of those, you know, need to be able to coexist. The legislature uh, opted to put in some money in the kitty, and so what's, what, are the, what are the citizens going to get for their money? Well, I think they're going to find the increased range land that's uh, compatible for grazing of our, our cattle. You know, again, we eat a lot of beef you know, in, in this country. And so the cattle is important, our sheep, you know, uh, we have a lot of mutton and sheep. So uh, again, it's a lot of domestic animals that we produce the land, but a lot of non-domestic animals that we hunt, you know, from wild turkey up to moose, you know, in between. Our deer herds, in fact, because of our conservation efforts, our deer herds are up, our elk herds are up, our big horn sheep are up. So for those who want to see good conservation, you know, Utah really is at the forefront of making sure that that happens. And the hunters in the state are at the forefront of that conservation effort with all of their their uh, good efforts and, and conservation and the uh, fees that they produce too. The hunters, in fact, are doing their share. Uh, they want to have increased herds and opportunity to But we're asking them to put more money into it. And they're doing that. Uh, again, the significant areas of investment that they're putting in is millions of dollars. We're probably putting more money in conference and conservation as a state of Utah than any other state in the Mountain West by some margin. And it's not just, I mean, our fisheries and water area areas are uh, our water rights and our water storage. Those are all important things for Utah, which is a high desert area. So the conservation is going into habitat too, as as well as the Governor, might I ask you a question? Did you, would you were you aware that PCP uh, can be darted from helicopters just as they do all over Africa? That darting can be done from helicopters and that's very available on YouTube. Many fleet feet animals, small and fast. I am aware of that. In fact, that's part of birth control and uh, something that we ought to be doing more of. And I think there's opportunity. It happens to be very expensive. So we need to, ha in fact, have those who support conservation of our wild horses and burros step up and maybe adopt a herd and help us with birth control in whatever form or fashion. We do, and on-range management is very that. cheap relative to uh, uh, adoption and then you, and you need to convince the BLM of that because that's not what they're telling us. So, they, so right, you need, they're you, not. You work with the congressional uh, people in Congress, uh, again, have them fund this uh, properly because it certainly is a part of the solution. So we're not opposed to that. In fact, we would promote that as the number one that works. issue. But it takes money. So you help no, the charge cheaper. on getting money, it okay? No, it's saves money. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, everyone. Last, hey, thank lastly, you. Governor, have you had any contact with Secretary Zinke today, or will that wait until tomorrow? I have not talked with anybody uh, from the Secretary of Interior's office other than who's been here today. So I don't know what his recommendations are going to be or what the final things are going to be. We'll wait and see. Uh, I know what he said in the past. Uh, again, find that optimal way to, uh, to manage our public lands. And I think that's always going to be Utah's uh, way. Optimal management of the public lands. Uh, public lands should remain in public hands. Thank you, Thank Governor. You. Thank you. Thank you.